Hello everyone and welcome back, all Thios here. So I was browsing Reddit and I saw a post called Battlefield 4 Phantom Trainee and Nukes Final Stand. So that definitely caught my attention and I started reading it and I was absolutely fascinated by it. So the guy who started this post is named Lachlan Cotter, also known as Sherlock Holmes. The, the stuff that he's already uncovered is just incredible. So in the recent EA event that was showing off Naval Strike, EA invited a whole bunch of YouTubers over, um, to successful ones, so not not me. <laughs> and, uh, and they got a chance to play Naval Strike, and a few of them found an interesting thing on the wall. Here's a picture of it right now. Now I don't, uh, I don't speak that language, Chinese or what, whatever it is, but the guy managed to translate it and it said, Underground Project 273, prepare for war, prepare for famine, for the sake of the people, roughly in that order. Now he actually found this text in the Cambridge University Press, and it's called Mao's War Against Nature, Politics, and the Environment in Revolutionary China by Judith Shapiro. Now if you play the campaign, Revolutionary China kind of rings a bell. Now in this text, they also found references to some Battlefield 4 maps, such as development campaign brought roads and railways to the mountains. Now this could be talking about Gold Mode Railway, which is actually the map that I'm playing on right now, which is awesome. And uh, they talk about a hydroelectric dam, which could be Lankang Dam. Now this article focuses a lot on transportation and collection of resources. This could kind of signify the use of nuclear weapons and nuclear warfare for the final DLC, which is Final Stand. Now part of the text that I showed you earlier said Underground Project 273. Now Underground Project 273 refers to an underground nuclear test facility or location and he actually gave government documents that stated this. Now he wasn't entirely sure but he thought this had something to do with the Phantom Trainee password. Now if you remember, Jack Frags kind of helped us unlock the, the password for the Phantom Prospect which was released in, the, in one of the first DLCs for Battlefield. And I forgot to mention earlier, the picture that I showed was actually from Jack Frag's video that the guy pulled and uh, took a screenshot of. Now the new password could be something about nuclear weapons, part of the text found on the wall, something found in the government documents, something found in the text, or it could be nothing about this at all, it could be completely unrelated. So here's another picture, um, he actually tweeted EA Action Man, and uh, he got a response, and it was just a, uh, a winky face. So... Could that be hinting that he's doing something right, or is is EA Action Man making fun of him because he's he's just way off? <laughs> we don't know, but I thought it was really interesting that that he got a response from the guy, and I, it seems really valid to me. Now I'm not really sure how how nuclear weapons would be implemented into a first-person shooter like this, uh, but it, I mean I'm interested to see if it is how they're going to go about doing that because I don't really think it could be a levolution effect because that would just completely end the round so maybe it would have to be a scripted event um, anyway if if this is confirmed or or you know there's further developments on this I guess I'll go into more detail on how I think that would work um, but as of now it's just pure speculation so I won't get into too much detail on how it would work but it's going to be really interesting to see what the battlefield community uh, finds I'm fascinated by this now I'm sure tons of people are going to start hunting for the new Phantom Prospect assignment and the new uh, new Easter eggs in this because I know there are already sharks, little sharks. I don't I don't want little sharks. I want a uh, big shark. I want a megalodon. And uh, people are going to be searching for all these Easter eggs because I mean that's something that Battlefield you know has brought to the table pretty much in every DLC. And people have really seemed to like that, and it kind of makes people you know forget about all the uh, all the bugs. So if you guys fancy being a uh, Sherlock Holmes and you're hunting for some Easter eggs, make sure you let me know because I'd love to, to know of your progress and see if you guys have found anything else. Now all credit to this goes to Lachlan Cotter. It was all his discovery. I'm merely just giving this this theory another outlet so other people can see it. Um, I just want to stress that because I had nothing to do with the discovery of this. I'm just you know presenting it to other people so maybe it can be spread out even more and more people can find it and more people can start searching for this uh, new easter egg. I will leave a link in the description to the reddit post so you guys can go give that a thumbs up so more people can see and uh, who knows maybe you can be Lachlan Cotter's uh, Watson. Every every Sherlock needs a Watson. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed post a comment down below if you have any updates on this or you have any theories and I'll pick things back up in the next one.